The following is a review of the two online exams from Principles of Cardiac Sonography 1. It's a review of the questions that proved most difficult. Firstly, in online exam 1 and then online exam 2. Question 7. The lateral resolution of the ultrasound machine can be improved by... Lateral resolution is related to beam width and can be improved by increasing the frequency. Question 8. Increasing the dynamic range setting will cause which of the following? Well, increasing the dynamic range makes soft tissue echoes less granular, means that artifacts appear more visible, and so the answer to this question was soft tissue echoes will look more uniform when the dynamic range setting is increased. Question 9. Electronic focusing of the ultrasound beam occurs when the machine is transmitting and when it is receiving ultrasound. Question 18. Suppose the depth of penetration is 20 centimeters when a probe is operating at 3 megahertz. If the frequency is changed to 2 megahertz, the depth of penetration will be what? Well, the depth of penetration is inversely related to frequency. If the frequency is reduced, the depth of penetration must increase. Moreover, the depth of penetration multiplied by the frequency is constant. So, to answer the question, we know that at 3 MHz the penetration is 20 cm. 3 times 20 equals 60. We want to know the penetration at 2 MHz, so we rearrange the equation. P2, that is the penetration we want to know, will be 60 divided by 2 MHz, 30 cm. Question 19. A metal implant is displayed as a bright structure in the image because, compared with tissue, the metal has what? Well, metal appears bright because it is a strong reflector. The degree of brightness is related to acoustic impedance. Question 20. The wavelength of ultrasound is described how? Well, as the name suggests, the wavelength is the physical length of one cycle, shown on this diagram as being from one peak to the next peak. And the most difficult questions from online exam 2. Question 3 asks for a contrast between colour and pulse wave Doppler. Colour Doppler displays the mean Doppler shift from sample sites using only a few pulses of ultrasound per site. In contrast, pulse wave Doppler displays the Doppler shift from a single sample site using many pulses of ultrasound so colour Doppler is less able to detect slow-moving blood. Question 4. The pressure drop across a stenosed segment in a stenotic heart valve or blood vessel can be estimated by using which of the following? The simplified Bernoulli equation is used to estimate pressure drop. 
Question 5. In colour Doppler, frequency aliasing occurs when it occurs when the pulse repetition frequency is too low. And this can be corrected by increasing the colour scale. Question 6. With the base of the heart as a reference point, how would you describe the position of the heart's apex? The base of the heart refers to the heart's upper border, while the apex to its lowest point. So, with reference to the base of the heart, the apex is inferior.